All right, so we got Warhammer 40k lore explained in one minute. It's very interesting. It's good to be here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I understand it all in one minute. I got another 50 minute video. Our story begins with the godlike being of immense power known only as the Emperor, uniting the warring factions of Earth and embarking on the Great Crusade to reunite oh. all of mankind's lost colonies. Okay. We did this by creating 20 legions of post human genetically engineered badasses known as Space Marines, each with an even more ridiculously OP Primarch to lead them. Ultra, right? Ultra Marines, right? Chaos who weren't really into that sort of thing intervened and scattered the Primarchs across the universe while still in their infancy. Rather annoyed by this, the Emperor led the legions across the galaxy, reclaiming, subjugating, or annihilating every world they could find, gradually picking up the lost Primarchs along the way. Eventually, the Emperor decided there were more important things to do and retired from his career of galaxy plundering to go and muck about with ancient science back on Earth, leaving his favorite Primarch Horus in command of the Crusade. All was going well until the Chaos Tainted Chaplain Erebus engineered a plot in which Horus would also fall to Chaos. Already suffering from some pretty serious daddy issues, Horus gathered half the Space Marine Legion's suicide and set about waging civil war against the Emperor. This conflict would be known as the Horus Heresy and culminated in a massive invasion of Earth. The Emperor, knowing his forces were outnumbered and on the verge of losing the battle, teleported to Horus's flagship to engage him in mortal combat. But being a sentimental old sod could not bring himself to kill his favorite son. Horus, having no such qualms, beat the snot out of him. Finally seeing sense, the Emperor killed him with mind bullets and the loyalists were victorious. Near death, the Emperor was placed in a huge machine known as the Golden Throne, which maintained its psychic essence at the bargain price of the souls of a thousand unlucky sods every single day. The Imperium fell into a state of technological regression and brutal dictatorship, and for 10,000 years has been under siege from all sides by every single nasty the universe can throw at it. Basically, <coughs> life sucks. There's only war, and you're probably going to get eaten by Tyranids. Have fun. Um... That was so much out like and I think this video was like 10 years ago, by the way That was so much information crammed into my brain. I'm gonna be but I was trying to like First of all <laughs> Bravo because I'm pretty sure everybody who actually like who, who's really in tune with Warhammer. I'm a newbie I, I'm a new fan. I'm a new booty. I'm new but a lot of, like, you know, Warhammer, like, fans, like, diehard fans, bro, I'm pretty sure they understood what he said. Now, I, I do get some parts where, like, there was a guy, he was the emperor or whatever. Um, uh, supposedly, there was, like, 20, 20 uh, armies or whatever. And then there was, a, there was one army that just, that just came through and just, like, dropped everybody. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. There was so information that was, like, there was so much information that was crammed into my brain. It's kind of, bro, that was hard. That was hard for me to understand a little bit. I mean, I, like, I, then a guy retired. Um, You know, he just got tired of, like, you know, j j just being the emperor. He retired. I'm going to be honest with you. That was a lot. Like, bro, I, listen, my brain can't handle that. But, but do not worry because I have a 50-minute video coming out later today uh, about the entire Warhammer lore. So hopefully I get to actually learn and like sit down here and like I thought I was like, you know what? Let me give this a try. Obviously, I was expecting, you know, the guy to just go crazy and just like unleash a bunch of information. But I wasn't like expecting this to be like that much. Like the thing is, though, he did put it in like a in like a playful type of way, whatever, because um, to be honest with you, I was afraid that I wouldn't understand like a bunch of big words that he might say. But it, uh, to be honest with you, he actually didn't say a big words. He actually said a lot of information really fast. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, I couldn't catch it, man. Comment down below um, if you guys could actually understand, like, what he was saying, a lot of what he was saying. Listen, I didn't understand, like, some parts, but then, like, I was trying to connect it to, like, another part, but then he just kept going. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, I can't do this. So this is why I got froze. But, again, comment down below if you guys can actually explain something down in the comments down below. You don't have to. Again, I got a 50-minute video coming out later today about the entire lore of Warhammer 40K. So do not worry. Uh, we're definitely going to see, you know, the entire lore and, you know, who hated who, who killed who. Uh, I did learn that somebody did die, whatever. And also, what's an ultramarine? Isn't an ultramarine like the, uh, like, like the space marines with like the extra, uh, with the extra like uh, equipment, whatever? I think that's it. Um, other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? That was a lie. I, I nearly got a headache from that. So you guys have a good smile and.